What's up, Braden? It is Mark McGrath from the band Sugar Ray. Off the charts. Sugar Ray. <laughs> this, the, the, just off rip, the, like, the, the, it's not like a lack of motivation, but it's like a sugar ray. Like, you know, it's like there's pain. Well, he's doing it like a radio host almost. Yeah. yeah. What's up, Brayden? It's uh, Mark McGrath here from Sugar Ray. Hey. Like he said it a fucking billion times. True, yeah. You know, this is probably like his eight millionth cameo that he's doing yeah. today. Yeah. Just ripping through them. And he gets to this one. He, what's up, Brayden? He probably started it without even reading the fucking copy. Yeah, and then he got to it, and he's like, oh, <laughs> oh fuck. fuck. But he's already in it. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> but always in your hearts. And this oh, cameo was booked that's, by Shuck. That's kind of... <laughs> like, he had that prepped. What do you say? Off the charts, but always in your hearts. Oh, my man has done too much radio. Yeah. He's done way too much radio. Yeah. Cheyenne and she wants you to know a few things and this is a little difficult for me to say because it's the first one of these I've done but she wants you to know that you mean a lot to her you mean the world uh -oh. to her uh oh <laughs> anytime someone starts with you mean a lot to me <laughs> bitch just say it you I mean you know this guy's face what he looked like when he was listening and he got to this point he's like he, oh wait Oh. What's about to happen? Oh. I know something's not right here. First be, of all, yeah. she wants you to know you mean a lot to her. Mark, cut this shit. <laughs> just say it, dude. Cut the fucking <laughs> shit. And he just as he's talking, he's like, does that say break up at the end of that paragraph? Because I don't want to hear all this other bullshit. But she's having difficulty staying in this long distance relationship. You know, it's tough. I've been on the road for years and I've been with my wife a long time and the, the biggest arguments, the biggest, you know, obstacles in our relationships is the distance between us. <laughs> Bro, ours worked out. Yeah. Yeah, we've been married. Unfortunately not the case yeah. for you guys, yeah. but <laughs> I'm just Me saying. Me and my wife, married for 25 years, made it through very brutal touring um, periods. Um, the Yeah, the distance was hard. But we made it. Yeah. I'm just saying I can relate because we've also fought. But <laughs> in the end, she loved me enough to stay with me. But back but, to you guys. But Cheyenne, <laughs> she wants to know that a fart always in her heart. <laughs> Cheyenne, however, wants to fuck other men. <laughs> My wife, loyal. Loyal, yeah. Always has been. Always will be. Um, Cheyenne. <laughs> Cheyenne. Cheyenne thinks that she should see other people. That's all it says. I'm sorry. That's all <laughs> the cameo says. It makes it very difficult when we're on the road, um, and it's hard. So Cheyenne is trying to let you know, Brayden, that it's very, very tough for her to stay in this relationship. Because her TA in her current master's <laughs> program is really attractive, uh, more than you, and she's having a really hard time just not doing it. <laughs> yeah, it gets just weirdly more and more specific. <laughs> Listen, she met a dude named Brendan at a bookstore, and she thought he was really cute, okay? And turns out they were into the exact same literature, and he was really smart. And, and uh, then a guy comes in with a bucket of diarrhea. <laughs> and lo and behold, Brendan is there to save her. So now she feels a little bit of a mm, connection because he was there to protect her and you were not. Yeah. So. Sorry. <laughs> Always in her heart. <laughs> she still cares about you a lot. You never know what the future may hold. And she's. Oh. <laughs> I wonder if she was like, no, no, no. Don't, yeah, yeah. That she, wasn't yeah, it. Yeah, don't say that shit. Like, what the fuck? This fuck. is over. <laughs> Hey, bro, keep your head up, dude. You know, maybe in the future you might get... She's like, yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> He's just ad-libbing. <laughs> you never know what the future might hold. Who knows, man? Maybe you just got to move out there and prove your love to her. <laughs> she's, like, she's like, Mark. I didn't pay for this shit. No, Mark, refund now. You this fucked is, it. You fucked, you fucked it, it, Mark. Man. He's on his way here now. He just texted me. He bought a fucking ticket. He's on a train. She still wants to be friends with you because obviously she cares about you very, very much. And she wants you to know. Yeah, she cares so much that she hired Mark McGrath to dump you. <laughs>
Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, dude. You, you know what's funny is like this is like a bit, you know, I fucking, I've made this joke to people. I'm sure there's a sketch out there somewhere, a service where people will do breakups for you and handle that bullshit for you. This is fucking it. Yeah. Like, it's just, you just hire Mark McGrath. Yeah. To do it. But, like, I don't, so, what I don't get is that, like, you know, when when I'm doing cameos, it's like, it's like, my boyfriend and I watch your videos every day. Mm-hmm. Please wish him happy birthday. Because mm-hmm. this would mean a lot. Yeah. So, what, what would you have to do with Sugar Ray for your boyfriend to love or hate, maybe, <laughs> Mark McGrath so much that this would be appropriate? I think it's, um, Sugar Ray... Is the song yeah, is the band they were listening to when they hooked up for the first time? So it's like a it's a nice little bow tie. Yeah, started every in- morning. I'm sorry, this doesn't usually happen. I, I swear. <laughs> no, usually, it's fine. It's fine. Usually, no, no, but usually I'm I'm good. It doesn't. <laughs> every morning there's a halo. <laughs> I usually last longer than this. I'm. I'm just- <laughs> <laughs> she thought it'd be a nice little, you know. Yeah. Let's start it here and let's end it here. Let's- good luck on your thesis coming up. Cold. Cold. He's doing his thesis and you pick now? He just Actually, changed. he says that. Wait, keep playing it? No, he changes his thesis. Yeah, no, his next comment is hilarious, but I just imagine this guy being like, he just gets to that point. He's like, I know you're working on your thesis. Just cuts to him like deleting his previous <laughs> thesis, his new thesis. Why all women are the <laughs> devil. And his old thesis is why I love my girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm writing a thesis about how awesome my girlfriend is. It's coming up, probably not the best timing, Cheyenne. <laughs> I, I love how he tries to. That's where he realized he should not have done this one right there. That <laughs> fucking face. He's like, oh, thesis. Jesus. Probably shouldn't have did that, Cheyenne. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Rut row. <laughs> When he's doing his thesis, but I understand. His thesis. His thesis. <laughs> his thesis. <laughs> you know, you got to work on your thesis and life goes on and. Uh... <laughs> but you know, you got to work on your thesis and life goes on, man. <laughs> For a long time with a lot of pain. Fuck, man. Bad timing. <laughs> and, um, you know, I'm sure there's big things ahead of you in the future, Braden. But Cheyenne cares about you enough to let you know that she's thinking about you. But the long distance thing is just a little difficult. Oh, for my her. God. The way he's and phrasing she- it. She's <laughs> thinking about you. Dude, this reads like getting fired by someone who doesn't know why you were fired. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, it's... um. It, the paper says it's uh it's just uh it's not a personal th- it's just a performance thing that's all i have on the paper yeah. um, <laughs> do you have any other questions perhaps about your severance that you just want to know why you were fi- yeah i can't i got it. i can't uh i'm sorry you seem like a nice guy she she really she wants to let you know that she's she's really thinking about you and she cares enough about you to let you know that this isn't working through a Mark McGrath cameo and she's probably sucking another dude's dick right now. But she cares about you. And she wants you to stay positive. She wants you to be friends. And she knows that um, you're a fan of the band Sugar Ray, which I'm honored. Oh my God, imagine saying stay positive to someone you're breaking up with. That dude, dude. We're done, but just stay positive, okay? (laughs) Did she give him knuckles with that too? Hey, you know what? Hang in there. You're going to make it. You're going to be fine. You're You're going to be just fine. I can tell. I know, I know, because we we dated. You're a great guy. I know you're a great guy from personal experience. Yeah. You're gonna make it, dude. Yeah, just keep the high eye. Yeah, high keep not the low eye. Keep the high eye. Keep the high eye, mm-hmm. not the low eye. You're gonna be fine. See if this whole experience doesn't tickle you a little bit, make you want to <laughs> go on a walk, take a little check in with the M M&E. and E, make your heart swell up. So. <laughs> it's just Matthew McConaughey's bra- <laughs> code name Cheyenne. Matthew McConaughey's breakup cameos. <laughs> They're just way long. And <laughs> just don't make any sense. Yeah, and just listen. Cheyenne wants to have the monologue without the dialogue. <laughs> <laughs> now listen, Braden. If I can call you that. You spend a lot of time with Cheyenne. And she got a little thing she wants to tell you. <laughs> You're just staring at it like, come on. Bro. 
Hurry the fuck up. <laughs> Hold on, let's, let's let Mark finish. I've got to hear the rest of this. I was delivering you good news. Hopefully I can see you backstage, give you a high five someday, dude, and we can maybe laugh about this sometime. Oh, fuck. Hey, but you know, man, we might hang out backstage one time and we could totally, oh, you know. Man, I got broken up with in a cameo and all I got was this fucking backstage yeah. Sugar Ray yeah. pass. <laughs> oh. Hopefully we all can. Cheyenne, Braden, all of us. We all can hang out, but uh, <laughs> she wants to. What the fuck? I can't think of any scenario worse after this than all three of them hanging out. <laughs> Remember when you paid me to break up with him? Oh, what a z what a zany time. They're just sitting at opposing ends of the table just like this. And he's like, so, guys, this is awkward. He's like trying to do the same shit. He's like, well, we could say the distance is close now. Maybe there's a chance of love here. <laughs> uh, oh my god, dude. Uh, It'd be like one of those shitty fucking <laughs> What's that YouTube channel that does like that did the, the, the uh oh, yeah, yeah, Hurt yeah. Bay and shit yeah, like that? Yeah. It'd be like one of those yeah. videos. <laughs> just against a white backdrop and they're both just sitting in chairs like fucking four feet from each other, just like And he's like, Well <laughs> How's your thesis? <laughs> huh? <laughs> Gotta start a dialogue. <laughs> Nothing. Friends right now, bro. The long distance thing's a little difficult, but she wishes you nothing but the best. All the love in the world. And do, 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 do your best on that thesis, man. I know it's, uh, <laughs> the it's tough in the holiday season and um, relationships and all that stuff, man. But you've got big things ahead of you, bro. If you're working on a thesis, you've got a good life in front of you. All right, on behalf of Mark McGrath and Cheyenne, we love you, Braden. Be positive, bro. All right. Do, 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 do not, not kill yourself. <laughs> do, 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 do not jump in front of a train, please. <laughs>